and year five and welcome to today's English lesson. Please can you open up your books, English at the top of your page, today's LO which is to write and perform a poem and then today's date which is Monday the 8th of February. So get that down in your books for me and then we can begin with our lesson. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm just going to run through the chapter that we looked at in our last lesson uh, at the back end of last week. So we focus on chapter five and I'm going to run through that uh, chapter again so you've got it on this PowerPoint and then you can refer back to it later on when you need to do your task that I have set you. Okay, so I'll do that now for you. Okay, and there is then your chapter five of the book. So, what I want you to do then, thinking about this chapter in the book, so chapter five, about when they come to the land of the dead, and they talk to Tiresias, etc. Okay, I want to think you think about that story, but from two perspectives, from two different angles. Okay, so from the point of view of the crew, so as they were walking through the land of the dead, and they got to the um, all those ghosts, and then also from the point of view of the dead themselves. Okay, so how did they find the whole scenario? Okay, so I just want you to jot down in your book. You don't have to do it on the Google Classroom part. Just jot down in your book a couple of ideas of what you think maybe. Uh, the difference and emotions and thoughts of the living and the emotions and thoughts of the dead. Okay, and just jot down some ideas of how they might be feeling, what they might be thinking, okay? Because you're going to then use these ideas later on for our task when we create a, a verse or two of a poem. Okay, so I hope you've done that. I've jotted down some ideas here for you. So we've got, um, obviously, the, of the living, so they're scared, unnerved, shocked. Maybe they're thinking, will we get out alive? Will I ever see my loved ones again? Okay, because they're completely unsure about what's going to be happening in the land of the dead, what they're going to see. Um, and then with the thoughts of the dead, maybe they were surprised. They heard people, excited they heard people, maybe. Uh, but they were thinking, what are these men doing here? We haven't seen people in so long. Um, and remember, these dead people, okay, they have no recollection, they have no memory of what happened in their previous life, okay? So maybe they're thinking about, oh, they wish they could remember them. Will these men help me remember my previous life? Are any of these men from my previous life, okay? So really think about the emotions and thoughts of both sides of the story. So from the point of view of the crew and the point of view of the dead themselves. Okay, and then what are you gonna do with all this information then? As we're just quickly gonna touch on the features of a poem. So when you do your verse of a poem, I'll talk a little bit more about what you're actually gonna do in your poem uh, in a minute, but what I want you to remember is try and include rhyming in your verses, okay? Punctuation mark at the end of each line, very, very important, as well as capital letter at the start of each line, really important that you do that, and I want you to do each verse needs to be at least four lines, so four, six, eight, I wouldn't do more than eight lines for each verse, so, okay? And I'd keep it as an even number, so then you can do your rhyming couplets, each two lines can rhyme, okay? So then what are you gonna do then? Your task for me today is you will be creating at least two verses of a poem. Okay, so one of these verses, or at least one, will be from the point of view of the crewmates, and your other one, or at least one more, will be from the point of view of the dead. Okay, I want to make sure that you include all the correct features of a poem, so all of these features here, rhyming, punctuation, capital letters, uh, the length of the verse, and ensure that you include the emotions and characters from the book as well. So all these that we've been through, these thoughts and emotions and ideas, okay, include them in your verses, okay? So I want you to just, all you're going to do is describe kind of the events that are happening in the poem from the point of view of the dead and from the point of view of the crewmate. So what I've done, I've just done a couple, um, uh, a rhyme, two lines from the point of view of each character. So I did the first two lines from the point of view of the crewmates and maybe like the first two lines from the point of view of uh, the dead. Okay, so I've got marching on through the endless clammy gloom, we set our sights upon a deep dark tomb. Okay, so you can see they're rhyming. You've got capital letters inside of each line, punctuation at the end of each line. Okay, um, and then obviously this verse would then continue on. So I might do two or four more lines of that, and then maybe another verse. And then my verse for the uh, the dead, I put resting still with no sound to stir until I heard the cut of a knife through thick sheep. And again, okay, rhyming words, capital letters, punctuation, etc. Now, when you're doing this for me, I want you to make sure that your verses are alternating. So, by this, I mean I want your first verse to be from the point of view of the crew, and your next verse to be from the point of view of uh, the dead. Okay, and then if you're doing more verses, I want your next one to be 
from the crew and then your next one from the dead okay so you're swapping each time you're doing a verse you're not doing two from the people who are from the crew and then two from the dead you're doing one 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 okay right get on with that for me then please year five and i'll see you later for our live lesson thank you very much enjoy the rest of your day